Hey guys, so on today's video, I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got at Walgreens. It's not a what's new at the drugstore haul. It was more like, I'm bored. Let's see what I can find at the drugstore kind of thing. I didn't really need any of the things that I got. I just wanted to see what was there and I did need, what did I need? Actually, I don't even remember needing anything, honestly, but I'm sure you guys can relate. Before we get started, my name is Alex, and on this channel, I mainly do makeup videos, mainly for oily skin and thrift shopping videos, so if that's something that you guys like, please consider subscribing before you leave, and without further ado, let's get started with the video. This is the bag right here. Like I said, it's not a what's new at the drugstore. I just bought a few items that I wanted to get, and they had this sign that said buy two get one free and i went crazy and when i got to the register the lady said that the items that i got were not under that sale so i ended up paying for everything which was kind of like uh she's like do you want to go back for the other brands that are part of the sale and i said no that's okay i'll just i want what i want and that's fine but if you guys are interested then Walgreens does have a buy to get one free mainly like on Revlon, Maybelline. I mainly got Wet n Wild which I didn't plan for it but it wasn't part of the sale but Wet n Wild is already inexpensive anyways. <clears throat> so I ended up spending either way $34 for one, two, three, four, five, six items so I think that was good. Six items at Sephora would have been like $134, I think. I don't know. But yeah. And then I got a $2 off coupon and I got $5 towards my account. So for next time, I do have, I think, like a total of $6 that I can use at Walgreens. So that's kind of cool. I thought I was part of the makeup enthusiast program. I thought I was, but I wasn't. So she signed me up and then I got $5 for my next visit, which is cool. And then they give you like coupons and stuff for those that are in the club, which is kind of nice. So yeah, if you guys like to go to Walgreens and want to save a couple bucks, join the makeup enthusiast program because it has like a, a lot of perks that you guys can use in the future. But yeah, all right, I'm gonna take everything out of the bag. <laughs> I'm gonna leave the best for last because I am super excited with that one product that I found. First thing that I got is this. I finally got the Milani Luminoso. I know I am so late on this bandwagon that probably left. Everybody's off the bandwagon. I wanted to try it and it's a really nice corally peachy with a slight of pink blush. It looks beautiful on everybody that I've seen wear it. So when I saw it, and again, I thought this was buy to get one free on all brands, but I guess Milani I pretty much got all the inexpensive brands. Milani, Elf, Wet n Wild, and that last one that I'm gonna show you later. Yeah, I I can't believe I got it. I finally got it. It's a beautiful color. Actually, let me open it. Why not? I was tempted to open it as soon as I got it, but I wanted to show you guys. So pretty. Oh my God, it's so smooth. I'll smudge it right here. That is such a pretty color. I think I'm gonna enjoy that. But yeah, that blush is so pretty. I'm glad I got it. I can't wait to use it because I've been getting bored with all the blushes that I have, which is odd because I got all these little ones from Benefit and they do have a nice range. But you know, with makeup, you get bored easily because there's new things coming out. And even though this isn't new, it's just new to me. I haven't had this one before. Next item that I got is this one. This is the e.l.f baked highlighter i've never seen this color correct me if i'm wrong oh it says new right there so i guess it is new but this is in the color apricot glow i've seen the other ones the one that everybody scratches off i've actually owned that one i forgot what the color of that one was or the name of that one but this one just seems to have more of like an apricot orangey glow so i thought this would be a better fit for my skin tone and if you guys are anywhere near my skin tone then i think you guys might like it but let me shut up before i swatch it because it might be a horrible swatch but i'm gonna go ahead and open it for you that is the highlighter right there ignore my hairy knuckles um but yeah this is a beautiful color highlight i'm gonna go ahead and swatch it for you guys so it doesn't seem like you have to scratch it like the other one which is nice That's pretty. I think you could actually intensify it if you do spray it. 
Let me go ahead and scratch it actually, see if that makes any difference. I made a little bit of a difference. Let me try it on my face. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit on my face. That is pretty. Yeah, it's actually more highlighty than I thought so. And I wonder if because I scratched this one, it looks more, yeah, that's pretty. I like this color. You guys, this color is like a little bit of rosy, a little bit of gold. It's just pretty, I like it. Next items that I got are brushes. I got the Wet n Wild, what is this? Their large stipple brush. Do you guys remember me doing a video on brushes? And I told you that stippling brushes are essential for, especially on the base that you maybe go a little too heavy with your blush, a little too heavy with your bronzer. These really diffuse everything. And if you do go heavy with your highlight, you can almost diffuse this out with this brush. I went on a hunt for a brush that you guys can find at the drugstore and for some reason I completely bypassed this. I found this one at Marshalls for $4, I believe. And then this one is discontinued. This one's by Sony Cash Shook. It's one of my favorites. But for $4, Wet n Wild has what seems to be a good stipple brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it. So let me go ahead and rough it up a little bit because it's all squished up. And usually, I, I think I've mentioned this before, clean your brushes before you use them. Um, not only because, you know, the obvious, but when you clean them, you can rough them up a little bit and they'll like blow up a little bit nicer. I think this is gonna be a good one. Oh, there's already one shedding. I hope it doesn't shed the whole time. But yeah, I like the size of it. I feel like it's gonna be a good size. And as soon as I wash it, you guys will see it in future videos. But for $4 for a stipple brush, that's awesome. I had the hardest time looking for one. And I can't believe Wet n Wild was right in front of me and I just missed it. So Wet n Wild has a good stippling brush if you guys need one. They're also called dual fiber brushes. So if you guys um, Google one online, dual fiber or stippling brush, you'll get the same result. Another brush that I got from Wet n Wild is this one. This is the Brow Lash Comb. So it's actually not a brush. It's kind of like a little bristle thing on this side. And then I mainly got it for this side right here. I tend to curl my lashes after I put mascara. I for sure wait till they're dry, but this will like help me separate any hairs that I need. And I used to have one, I just lost it. So this one was only a dollar, had to snatch it. So yeah, that's another thing. I finally got this one also. This one is the Wet n Wild Nude Awakening Palette. You guys saw my tutorials on the Rosé in the Air, which has been quite popular on my channel. And then the other one was Not A Basic Peach. I made two tutorials using those palettes and I skipped this one for some reason because it was more on the neutral side, but I finally, I was in store and I saw it and I'm actually excited to make a video out of this, make a tutorial out of this. So if you guys wanna see a tutorial on this, give this video a thumbs up or comment down below letting me know that you are excited about a tutorial on this palette because it has really pretty colors I'm having a hard time opening this. I'm not gonna fight it right now because I might do a video on it. So that is, again, the Wet n Wild Rosé, <laughs> not Rosé. This is the Wet n Wild Nude Awakening and those are the colors right there. So yeah, I'm actually excited about this one. I think this one was like $5 or so, so yeah. All right, guys, the final product that I got and the most exciting in my opinion is this. Are you ready? Has anybody seen this palette ever before? I don't know if it's new. I, honestly, I'm probably it's probably like 10 years old and I'm just barely seeing it. But when I saw it, what does this remind you of? I feel like it reminds me um, a little bit of the Subculture palette. This side looks like Subculture with maybe a little bit of blue edit. So let me start out by saying what it is. This is the Rimmel London magnifies jewels rock edition and they had like six different shades or color schemes but this one just called my name and i think for the fall this part 
of the palette is going to be really really nice i'm super excited to use maybe the green tones in a future video what do you want to see first do you guys want to see this palette and do a tutorial on this one first or do you guys want to see this one first leave it in the actually i might do a poll so if you guys want to answer the poll on this side let me know which one you guys want to see first this one or this one um but i am most excited about this one but if you guys end up liking this one more then i'll do this one first either way i'm gonna do both tutorials i don't even want to swatch it yet because i want to wait till the tutorial i'll leave you guys hanging on that the excitement is building those colors are so pretty i just I don't know i have high hopes it doesn't smell weird i don't know why i smell everything but i'm just excited for this palette so that is it for today's video that is everything that i got at walgreens thank you guys for watching and please subscribe if you haven't already stay tuned for those tutorials on those palettes and yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye